everyone, and welcome to the question of the week. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com, and on this episode, we'll discuss the relationship with gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD, and the sleeve gastrectomy. First of all, I want to start out by saying that very high percentage of patients who are obese have reflux or GERD. Actually, statistics say close to about 50% of patients have GERD. Now, why? Well, there are several causes like increased intra-abdominal pressure. There, there may be a hiatal hernia associated that's causing the heartburn, the reflux. Uh, there may be a low tone of the lower esophageal sphincter. Uh, there are, uh, these are ma mainly the main causes here. Now, when we talk about increased intra-abdominal inter pressure here, think as if you had 10 bricks on your abdomen while you're laying down. This will cause uh, pressure on your abdominal wall and uh, increase the intra-abdominal tension causing the heartburn or the reflux here. Um, as patients lose the weight after surgery, uh, this pressure uh, in, your, in your abdomen starts to lower because those bricks start to come off, the weight starts to come off and it's, it gets better. Uh, now if we, if we go into surgery and we find a hiatal hernia, which this occurs in about 15% of the patients having weight loss surgery, we fix the hiatal hernia. We fix it at the same time we do the sleeve to correct the anatomical condition. Uh, I have a video uh, on YouTube, uh, well I'll place the link here, where I fix a, or repair a hiatal hernia and do the sleeve at the same time. It will explain more on this condition. Now, there is a strong association of reflux and the gastric sleeve, but I truly believe, truly believe that uh, it has been documented and studied that a good technique, a good surgical technique, uh, is fundamental on helping uh, uh, or eliminating reflux. Also, I need to say that incre uh, the increased intradominal pressure causes a reflux uh, in some patients the first few weeks to months after surgery. Now, some patients may need some acid blockers during this time. Okay. Normally what we see is that patients that have heartburn or reflux before surgery are likely to continue with it. Some patients that have never had GERD may experience some after surgery. And then we have the opposite where patients that have a history of GERD, the condition gets better after surgery, specifically, uh, or especially uh, when a good surgical technique is applied. So that's it with, uh, with the, uh, today's question, with the question of the week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that way you don't miss any gastric sleep updates or videos that we upload. Uh, you can contact me uh, via our uh, social media that I personally manage, or you can contact me through our website via uh, www.endobariatric.com. And to those of you who are my patients, of course, you have my direct email, all right? So just an email away. Uh, also, I wanted to remind you that if you're interested in learning more about the sleeve, we now have our uh, weekly radio talk show live every Monday, 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time through ifmradio.mx. Uh, you can visit uh, the official website for the podcast of previ previously uh, recorded shows at obesitychat.com. I know you'll like them. They're very, they're, they're cool. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Thank you, take care, and good, goodbye.